U.S. Election 2024 After new evidence delayed his hush money trial, Trump will appear in court. A New York court will decide Monday whether or not to reschedule the former president's trial in the hush money case, which was delayed due to a last-minute document dump. In the first of his four pending criminal trials, the presumed Republican nominee is due in court for a hearing rather than the originally scheduled commencement of jury selection. The arrival of tens of thousands of pages of records from a prior FBI inquiry has delayed the trial until at least mid-April. The legal team representing Trump has asked the court to dismiss the lawsuit or postpone its decision by three months due to the delayed disclosures. The prosecution maintains that the cash contains little fresh evidence and therefore there is no cause for additional delay. In order to determine who is at fault, impose penalties, and move forward, New York Judge Juan M. Merchant has ordered Monday's court appearances by all parties involved. Trump faces charges of manipulating company records. According to the Manhattan prosecutors, Trump did it to shield his 2016 campaign from what he claims were unfounded allegations of extramarital sex. Trump denies the charges and has pleaded not guilty, claiming they are politically motivated. Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan district attorney, is a Democrat and is in charge of the prosecution. At issue here are claims that Trump, according to Bragg's deputies' wording in a court document, to mask his and others' criminal activity by incorrectly recording $130,000 in payments as legal expenses in his company's books. Prosecutors claim that Trump's former personal attorney Michael Cohen did not use the funds for legal representation. People claim that Cohen was only trying to get his money back from porn star Stormy Daniels, who claimed to have had a sexual encounter with Trump years ago, rather than bringing any wrongdoing to light. The Trump legal team claims that Cohen's payments were lawful costs, not cover-up payments. Regarding the campaign finance crimes associated with the Daniels payoff, Cohen entered a guilty plea in 2018 to federal charges. According to him, Trump ordered him to organize it. Federal prosecutors seem to believe him, but they never brought charges against Trump regarding the case. Prosecutors in Manhattan have named Cohen as a crucial witness in their case against Trump. According to Trump's legal team, in June, Bragg's office provided them with a small amount of documents related to the FBI investigation against Cohen. In January, they obtained an additional 100,000 papers by personally subpoenaing federal prosecutors. Prosecutors, according to the defense, should have dug all the records out and given Trump access to them, but instead they buried their heads in the sand. The information is confidential. In a court filing, however, Trump's legal team claimed that part of the evidence is exculpatory and advantageous to the defense, and that they also found details that could have helped with their own investigation and subsequent court filings from earlier in the case. The deputies assigned to Bragg's case have maintained that they acted in good faith and diligent efforts to gather relevant material from the federal investigation. According to their court filings, Trump's legal team ought to have voiced their disapproval of those initiatives sooner rather than later. Whatever happened, most of the material that did come in is irrelevant, duplicate, or supports Cohen's already established federal conviction, according to the prosecution. Along with 172 pages of notes documenting Cohen's conversations with the office of former special counsel Robert Mueller, who probed Russia's meddling in the 2016 election, they admitted in a court document that there was some pertinent new evidence. Defendants have plenty time to prepare for the trial, which is scheduled for the middle of April, according to the prosecution, who claims that their opponents are merely throwing a red herring. Additionally, Trump's legal team has asked the Supreme Court to rule on his presidential immunity claims in the Washington, D.C., election meddling case before the trial can begin. April 25 is the scheduled hearing date for the arguments before the Supreme Court.